Alright, hello guys, iGamer7 here, and in today's Destiny video, I have an amazing news for you guys, and that's because we found out a bit more about the Dark Below DLC coming to Destiny, the game, on December 9th. So, in this video, I'm just going to be going over a couple of stuff. Um, in the last video, I talked about some exotic shards and all that other type of stuff, so I won't be covering those type of things. This video is just mainly going to be about the 4th Horseman, which is a new item. Um, it's technically not a new item, but uh, it has received a new name, and it's also been confirmed to uh, to be coming into the Dark Below DLC. So, let me tell you guys a bit about that and a couple of other things that have been uh, mentioned as well. So, the 4th Horseman it is an exotic weapon, as you guys can see, you can see pretty much the main thing. Um, also, going to be popping up a couple of stuff on the screen as well. So, to start off, um, it's a shotgun and it's listed in the special weapon side of things. It starts at 302 attack, with uh, where you can actually raise up the level to... Uh, 331. It also deals arc damage as well. Uh, rate of fire is pretty normal and the same with impacts. Range, of course, as is a shotgun, you're not going to get that much range. Stability is quite high though. Reload speed is, you know, a little low, but it does have a, mag a magazine size of 5 ammo. Um, aim assistance, equip speed, recoil direction, zoom are all in the secondary stats type of things. And don't forget, guys, check out planetdestiny.com for all of your daily Destiny news and content about the game. So, moving on, we're, uh, this is going to be about the upgrades now. So in column 1, uh, it's pretty much unlocked at 0 XP and it does arc damage. But the most amazing thing that I have noticed about this gun is that when you reach 2500 XP, the weapon can be fired in full automatic mode. That is insane and I could definitely tell you guys that. Uh, but moving down to upgrade, uh, for the upgrade column 1. Um, again, unlocked at zero um, XP. Although it doesn't make sense, I don't know if that's gonna be for sure. But uh, anyway, um, so greatly reduced recoil uh, with a significant penalty to range. That's what you're going to be starting off with. Sorry, so yeah, that does make sense. So that's what you're gonna be starting off with. At uh, the next one is more range and impact with increased recoil, and then your next one, which is field choke, has more range and more impact. So definitely with automatic mode as well as field choke, where you have an increased range increased impact this gun although there will be increased recoil this gun will be insane to use in PvP for sure this gun is going to be like completely damaged it's especially when compared to the fusion rifle this gun will be most likely favored over the fusion rifles um, in the second upgrade column, we have the last round, um, final round is the perk, which is the last round in the magazine deals bonus damage. We all know that uh, type of upgrade. Uh, take a look at the third column. It's unlocked at 37,000 XP, 37,500. Um, upgradable damage, so that's the next one. In column four, we have fitted stock, where it increases weapon stability. So even when you have the increase, even when you make the weapon automatic, as well as when you make the that have more range and impact for sure when you you would definitely use fitted stock as well um, you also have hand loaded where you can even do even more range on the weapon so imagine this gun will be pretty insane in PvP I can already imagine it this is this gun would definitely be OP for PvP so I'll definitely be trying to get a hold of this gun as soon as the Dark Below DLC comes out uh, speed load is another is another uh, perk in the fourth column take a look at the fifth column and what we have as you guys can see, we do have upgradable damage again. Um, sorry, that's what am I talking about? In the fifth column, we have return to sender and kills with a swapping grant bonus ammo directly straight to the magazine. And again, upgradable damage, and the same for column seven. And you can also see that the exotic shard actually comes into play for the last upgradable damage to make it all the way up to three hundred and seven. Sorry, three hundred and thirty-one damage using arc damage. Um, something else that I'm going to be talking to you guys about is the exotic shards. Here are some leaked photos of it coming into play as you guys can see right there. So not leaked, but uh, as you guys, I mean, it's already been announced, but there are just a couple of pics of the exotic shards. Um, again, you can, they can be obtained from Xur, um, Angel of Nine, with seven strange coins, or you can, by breaking down a exotic weapon, um, it's usually one per exotic or two if it's fully upgraded. 
Um, take a look at the commendations. This is a new type of thing that is coming into the dark below. They haven't been re re uh, revealed yet, but it is included in the patch. So um, all we know about these items is that they're a type of currency that we can use for gear from the Crucible Vanguard, from the Crucible or Vanguard vendors. And they're called the commendation mark arcs. It's kind of a currency. It's kind of like Crucible marks, but much kind of different. Because I don't. Um, the only difference is it says. Um, it can be redeemed for powerful crucible gear. So I, who knows? Maybe there will be new exotic items that that the actual crucible handler will be selling. Uh, no idea how you get this, how you get the commendations. Of course, I assume you would be getting it from PVP or maybe Iron Banner. I don't know, like exclusive events or something like that. I don't really know much about them. Um, so that's pretty much all I'm going to be talking to you guys about in this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like below. Don't forget to comment. I'm MyGamer7, and I'm out. Peace.